sustainable mobility, clean mobility, it's not just something for rich Western countries. It's already at least as viable, if not more viable in the global south than it is uh, in the global north. I don't know. Chaque batterie ici a un QR code. Je scanne le QR code des, des batteries euh, qui vient d'amener. Puis je, je scanne aussi les batteries que je vais lui donner, euh, qui est plein. J'envoie le, le message, il paye par, euh, par mobile money. C'est le, 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 le paiement commun ici au Rwanda. Au Rwanda. Ça va. Donc, vous avez une moto. 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 Vous avez une Here where these motorcycle taxis are working 12 hours a day, uh, driving 150 kilometers a day on average, they spend more money every year on fuel uh, than the cost of a new motorcycle. So about 1,500 euros they'll spend a year buying fuel. That's far more money than they actually end up taking home uh, to their families. Africa is not a big contributor to climate change, uh, particularly in the, in the transport sector. But on the other hand, globally, as we think ahead to 2050, one quarter of all the people on Earth being here in Africa um, and needing to get around and becoming more affluent, uh, it's important to get those systems right from the beginning. And there's no need to use that old fossil fuel-based dirty, uh, dirty system. The world can't afford that. 